Hello and welcome back to Fantasy Star Online episode 2, where today we are going to the mountain area from the central control area. So let's get going. Here we will see many more gibbons. What's with these roots? Okay, so the area I had pointed out before that was an awful lot like an area you can battle in episode two. I was mistaken. It is 100% definitely closer to the mountain area here in terms of how it looks and all that. Apparently these guys are invincible while jumping. Anything over here? Oh, definitely things. Okay, fire, no good. Makes sense, they spit fire. How about ice? Okay, so lightning is best for old weapons. This is something that we now know. Okay, can't harm these rocks. How about these ones? Yep. Or, no. I was harming the boxes on the other side of the rocks. Not the rocks. Well, that was close. Hi. about you there's some really wide variance in how much damage the fireball from this game does why do you gotta make me waste my TP it's very rude of you also I hope this incoming damage uh, just goes to show why I was so willing to give myself an easier time by upgrading my mag to the point where I could use this cane. This is by no means an easy area. When things hit us, they hit us hard. I'm beginning to feel like I should get my hands on one of those blue barriers or whatever that has more ice res. Because more ice res is lower chance to be frozen solid. And I don't like being frozen solid. I don't like it one bit. I do like free monofluids. Oh, we could have or no, there were rocks here before. Why were rocks preventing me from getting to a place that I could get by walking? Hi, Ellie. Oh? Yeah. No, it's probably Dark Falls. Wait a minute. There wasn't a... There wasn't a thing at the start of the mountain area, was there? Did I miss it? Was I not paying enough attention? Or was it just not there? Now I gotta find out. Because if I'm missing juicy little lore tidbits, then I will be upset with myself. Yeah, there was nothing here. There was one at the start of the forest. Why not the mountain? Oh, there it is. It was here. It was just 
semi hidden. Semi hidden directly on the path, and I passed it twice before seeing it. That's how well hidden it was. So well hidden that I just didn't even notice it because of me, not because of it. It was not well hidden at all. Okay, so now we can get the analysis data for the mountain. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, is it? Okay. What a fun name. Yeah, Gibbles is interesting. Get zapped. Why, though? Right, you use ice. Why, though? No, I'm already frozen. Go away. You go away, too. behind us. Got some geese. This is quite the large room. Okay, yeah. These guys don't take much from fire. It's lightning. It's all lightning. Stop it! You get out of here. I don't want to be frozen. Even if this guy strengthens himself. Soul barrier. No, we've got something way better than a soul barrier. And I guess this little path is the only way forward. Ah, yes, those kinds of traps. Um. Well, this one's pretty clearly visible. Why can't they all be so visible? Get out of here. Ah, why was this one invisible when the other one was just out in the open? I don't like it. I don't like it. Stop being shocked, please. You get out of the ground. Nice of that. Sino barrel in there? Sino barrel in here? Hi, Gibbons. I don't know what I was saying. It was nice of them to... Really? Your... Your Gibarta breath is 
as long range as my Zonde? I'm not a fan of that. Longer range? At least when it's only Zol Gibbons. Like, they don't do much to answer my getting frozen. They just freeze me. And then mostly run around. So, as long as I don't get surrounded by them, I'm fairly safe. Like, I just need to not get hit by multiple freezing breaths. Okay, there's still more stuff in there, but I want to go to that other place that had the in a barrel and not endless Zol Gibbons. We definitely need some fluids. So, Sino Barrel. Oh, I see you. Why you gotta warp? Ooh. Ooh. Bit of a waste of the fluids, but... Wait. This is one of those ones that just looks pretty and isn't usable. Maybe it's controlling the healing ring. What am I targeting? Am I targeting boxes through the wall? I think I'm targeting boxes through the wall. Shame I haven't turned off this laser fence. Alright, back to the land of endless gibbons. that I just target. Oh, that box over there. I guess since I've got a ranged attack on my A right now, we will be just randomly targeting things a lot more often than we used to. Zap the Gibbons. Especially if they are Gibbons who can freeze me. Oh, our mag didn't make us temporarily invulnerable, and great, now I can't freeze them, or zap them, rather, without digging in here. save my photon blast for something a little more more just want to tag more enemies with it I know fire is not ideal for these guys but it's better than nothing yeah it's like 50% better than just a melee attack I forgot these guys could use Gifoe. Just 
getting rid of these poison thingers. I see that laser fence switch over there. Alright, laser fence disabled. Can probably also pick up a quick refill while we're in that general vicinity. Because healing rings. I could use the twins to give myself a shift and a band buff. But I'm not gonna. We don't really rely on our melee attack. And as nice as the defense would be, it does have a time limit on it. I'd much rather just have a group of enemies stop existing. Moon atomizers actually have a use right now. And that use is adding synchro to our mag without costing IQ. Why, though? Come on, guys. Let's group up. Good enough. Got him. I don't mind using my Photon Blast to get rid of four Gibbons. Sure, we could have waited until we could get even more things, but this way I can actually use my techs again. Come on. I like being able to use my text without relying on the quick menu. Because the quick menu is less quick than the palette. Can I... I cannot. So I guess we take the warp. Which just puts us on the other side. Oh, this is where we're going to fight Gibbles. There it is. Okay, so... Whoop. Now, 24, not great. Ow! How about fire? 121, okay, that's considerably better. Ice? Oh, ow. Yeah, Gibbles is a big jerk. Okay, 148, ice is the best. You know what else is the best? Not getting stomped on. You know, that thing we're not doing. Gibbles, please stop. So yeah, if we're running when he jumps, like already running, then he can't land on us. And we just turn around and get him. Easy peasy. Let's actually use a Star Atomizer. It's a full heal for myself and the entire party. Not a TP refill, unfortunately, but a full heal. Why, though? Also, why more Gibbons? Also, why Shock? I'm sorry, did I not just use a Soul Atomizer? Excuse me, I want the Zol Gibbon. Ow. Okay, that's him. That's you. And that's you. More? No, stop with the Zol Gibbons. I want no more Zol Gibbons. I don't like being frozen. Not even one bit. Why? I mean, I guess it's like with the Miracle, or America Roll, or whatever it was. Uh, the small enemies, if you kill a wave, just keep on spawning in. So yeah. Did I seriously miss a path here? 
Yeah. Yeah, I did. Are these rocks gone? Some of them are. Which means we can go up there. No, we can't. There's a laser fence. Where's the switch for this laser fence? We need the switch to this laser fence because that's a device that we need to interact with. That's problematic. Maybe the laser fence switch is on the other side of that door. It better be. Glad we didn't get grabbed. Well, we've got, yes, a laser fence switch and one of these. And still active security mode. We need to disable it. I guess this is just here to power the teleporter or something. Is that what they're for? Powering electronics? And that's why the ring had one? So now we can go up here, and if memory serves, if we trip one of these little swingy laser fences, it will turn on some pillars? Or some other just annoying type of trap? Okay, so that's active. And we didn't touch them. I'm not about to try and figure out what they activate because it would just be annoying. Or painful, or worse. I have nothing to gain by triggering them. Just making sure we still had escape doll. So, we're done with the mountain. type factor. That's what Osto said when he saw this wound. He could barely contain his glee at finding this unknown life form. Then he said to me, would you consider donating your body to the government for the good of our people? And I thought, if my body could serve to build a better future for our people. So I agreed to accept the request under certain conditions. Osto was overjoyed and he said to me, your body will be the subject of an official government experiment. What he meant was, I would have no say in what happened to my body. For all intents and purposes, my life was over. The government will send a message to your friends and family back home to announce your death. That's what he said. Even after accepting the fate of donating my body, I thought about it. The young girl who followed me to explore this unknown world she always looked up to me as a hero, even though I was just an old man. What will she think about my death when she finds out? Everyone will eventually forget about me. My death was announced to the world, and I was transferred here. Maybe that was the beginning of the end, this disaster. This decision I made to donate my body could trigger the chain reaction that will uncover the truth of the planet Regol. So I think the girl he mentioned is Red Ring Rico. Could be wrong, but I think it was. And this episode's a little short, but that's fine. We're going to end it here. Join us next time when we go to the seaside area. See you then, friends. <laughs>